When did you start? How old were you? I was 14. It was a summer between, I don't know, 8th and ninth grade. And uh, a friend of mine had tickets to uh, a Jimi Hendrix concert. And he got a camera. He had a camera. He had had a camera for a few months now. And we went to this concert. And um, in those days, stages were really low. And you could actually go to the front of the stage and not be hassled. So he'd go up, take pictures, and then he'd give me the camera. And I'd go up, and I'd take some pictures too. And I, at, once this was all done and we processed the film, I said, this is, this is what I want to do. You were 14 at 14. Hendrix? 14. Sharing a camera. Sharing a camera. <laughs> And that's how you started. And that's how I started. And um, from that point, um, we got tickets to other concerts and started shooting those. And um, eventually made an arrangement with the promoters that were bringing bands in. And they liked the pictures enough so that they would give us tickets to shoot everything. This was just in Honolulu? This was just in Honolulu in those days, yeah. And what year was this? Well, this started in 69 and um, went through until 75, 76, when I left Honolulu. And from there, where did you go? I came to L.A., where all the action was. Okay. And I made some connections with record companies there, and I started shooting right away. You were still quite young. 19. So you bail from Honolulu. You come to Los Angeles. You're 19 years old. A couple cameras? Oh, yeah. A whole bunch of cameras by then. Oh, so you were collecting them. <laughs> I had a suitcase full of cameras. And uh, I shot a lot of bands. Because in those days, bands loved to come to Honolulu. I mean, they didn't care if they sold the place out. They just wanted to go to Honolulu and see the palm trees and the girls. And they'd have a great time. So you'd have people coming in from, obviously, England. Like the Animals and the Kinks and the Who. And Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. And, wow, and the Stones. So the Stones in 73. They did three shows. Three shows in two days. Did you shoot shot, all three of them? I shot all three of them, again, thanks to the promoter. Um, and from there, I did a sort of a catalog or a booklet. Oh, the booklet program. Of, the program from the 73 show, which um, did pretty well selling on that. And from that, met somebody at Warner Brothers, and they liked it. And they said, oh, you know who's looking for one of these? Is Rod Stewart. I know the manager, I'll introduce you to him. So he did, and that worked out. And over a program. Over a program. I did one for Rod and um, kept shooting for Warner Brothers. But that was the start of the, the, the faces phase, because you did what, 12 shows? Oh, yeah, at least. Or more. Yeah. Because I know you had Up a lot until, of you know, from, let's see, 72, I flew over here to see them because I really liked the faces with Rod. So 74, I actually met with them and started shooting the 74, 75 tour. And basically, that was the end of the, the Faces with Rod Stewart. He went on solo after that. And so his first album here, Atlantic Crossing, I have the, the truck photo in the middle of him holding his jacket up like that, which was actually the first shot of the last show that I did with them. Literally, literally the first shot. That was a lucky shot. It was a good shot. 